Jim was, his personality was fun. He was a never met a stranger kind of guy. He could talk to anybody, uh, had no enemies, none. <laughs> Everybody loved him. He was definitely one of kind. Um, he just lived life to the fullest. He always went on adventures. Even if he was going through struggles in his life, he wouldn't know it. He always had a smile on his face. Um, he was a great storyteller. Mm -hmm. I loved that about him. Um, he'd always make you laugh with a good story. He was just one of the greatest pre people I've ever met. Like I always thought, if I could be the half the man he was, I'd be a damn good person. He was on a dirt bike doing what he loved most, his favorite activity in the world, uh, and has since he was a young kid. Uh, he's been in hundreds and hundreds of races, thousands. hundreds, thousands, multiple trophies. He was at. at in his younger years, he was about as close to being a pro rider as you could get in his sport. Um, so he'd had many accidents before, yeah. and this was just a freak accident that took him from us. He was declared brain dead, and I had requested um, to speak with someone about organ donation and to know what he was um, what he was able to give and they had the, the hospital down there had set up for him to have surgery to remove his have his organs harvested it was a literally an hour and a half before his surgery was supposed to happen and Alan called me on the phone and, and asked me if I would be interested in talking with Dr. Locke about this exciting uh, study that was taking place and he really couldn't give me any details about it um, but he said Dr. Locke would um, drive up to Huntsville right now to talk to me about it in person if that's what I wanted. Um, but we ended up putting her on speakerphone and my daughter and I were um, in the car together at the time and she explained the study and uh, what it was all about and she and I both looked at each other and we were like yes, mm -hmm. you know, that definitely is something that w we want to do. But we needed to check with the rest of the family, and um, so we we had a big family meeting on with his mother and his sisters and and David and my other son Cole, um, and we all unanimously, without a without a doubt, 100 percent is what we decided he he would have wanted. So there wasn't any question. I think the the impact to mankind is is huge. And he would have wanted to save as many people as he could. That's the bottom line, was he would have wanted, he wouldn't have wanted his death to not mean anything, that, so that he could save literally thousands and thousands of people by doing this. He wouldn't have had a hesitation. Losing him was really hard, but to know that so much light could come from such a sad thing is so really cool to me. Um, and I think that him looking down on us now is very proud and um, thankful that his, his death could bring so much greatness. So.